Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to the Thursday Night Football Review for Round 18 of the NRL. And we just seen the Rabbitohs defeat the West Tigers, 26 points to 24. Uh, what a what a crazy game of football we saw tonight. I thought, you know, the first half was a bit off. You know, the first 25 minutes or so were very boring, and then the Tigers come back late in the second and the first half there, and. Um, yeah, South Sydney ended up hanging on in the end. A bit of a scare for the bunnies, but what well on everyone involved. If you're new to the channel, make sure you, you hit that subscribe button. Um, we're at about 650 50 subscribers at the moment, so uh, I do appreciate the support. So if you can hit that subscribe button, that'd be very nice. Or if you can share the video around to your mates and try and get more people to enjoy the channel. So um, yeah, let's get into the first night football review. It's going to be a. Oh, it's not going to be a long review because only one game tonight, but. Um, South Sydney got the win over the West Tigers there at, Bank at Bankwest Stadium, 26 points to 24. And I thought Souths, you know, they started the game very well there. Um, Dan Gagai scoring the opening try there for South Sydney. And um, they blew out to a really good lead early, South Sydney, and they looked really good. They led 20 nil early, and I'm thinking, fuck, this could be 40-50. And um, credit to the West Tigers there, they come back there and half-time it was 20 points to 12 in favour of um, South Sydney and then um, the Tigers the Tigers did very well to um, come back into that game there, they got it to 20 points to 18 and then South scored again, then I think it was 26 to 18 and then I'm thinking, fuck me, South's surely going go with the job here and win 13 plus and then the Tigers score again and then it was 26 to 24 and South Sydney or shitting themselves for the last five minutes or so. And, you know, I thought the Tigers played okay. I thought um, Luke Brooks had a fair game. You know, I thought he was decent for the Tigers. I thought um, Alex Twell was all right in periods. I thought Lushani Leilu was an absolute handful for the uh, Tigers. Luke Garner had a fair game as well. Adam Dewey at the back wasn't too bad. David Nofaluma was involved a lot. But um, I think he was a little bit predictable, David Offaluma, because they kept going to board him, and it's like every time Offaluma would get the ball on the wing, South would just come in like like a big fucking wave at the beach. They'd be all over him. They just couldn't. They just couldn't get Offaluma over tonight. And I think everyone. I think South did a good job on Offaluma in like in attack wise, but Offaluma did well to get the sets rolling and all that. But for South Sydney, I thought. Um, I thought Cody Walker was absolutely outstanding. I thought Campbell Graham was good. I thought Dan Gagai was good. Um, I thought Tom Burgess and Liam Knight had a solid game. I thought Damian Cook was very dangerous from dummy half. Uh, Jaden Sewell was also very decent. Um, you know, Souths were um, good in periods, but they did fall asleep there, which really does worry me a little bit for them. Going into finals, probably going to finish around 5th or 6th on the competition ladder. So, they'll get the first final game probably at ANZ Stadium or something. But, you can't just go out to a big lead like that and um, expect to hold on to that lead and win that in finals. Because if you do that in finals, I don't care who you play, you're going to get run down every time. You know, if you lead 20 nil in finals... Um, you will lose. I'm telling you right now. You lead 20 nil and you go to sleep. You will get beat. But um, I thought the Rabbitohs' attack was very slick in the first half. It looked great. I know they had a lot of possession, but their attack was very good. Very, it was worrying the defence, and um, they were going very well South early. And then the second half, they just they just fell asleep. Like the Tigers got momentum, and South just couldn't stop the momentum. And I mean, if you're a Rabbitohs fan, you're happy with the win, but you kind of feel sick with the with the defense side of things. And if you're the Tigers, you're probably a bit pissed off that like you lost the game. But, you know, again, the Tigers start to let them down. So that's obviously going to be frustrating for Tigers fans. Almost pulled off two miracle comebacks in a row. You know, they were down by a fair bit against Manly last week, and they, they stole that game. But tonight they nearly pulled off the ultimate comeback against a good side. So... You know, well done to the Rabbitohs on holding on and well done to the West Tigers and pulling in a good effort, I guess you could say. But in the end, the class of the Rabbitohs, Cody Walkers, Damian Corks, Gagai's and Campbell Grahams, I thought they were just absolutely brilliant um, tonight. I thought they were probably the best on the ground, to be honest, out of those four. Very tough to pick a man the match. I thought Cody Walker was probably best on ground for mine. He was involved in everything. He was just 
Uh, it was outstanding, Cody Ward. Campbell Graham was also very good as well. But overall, I thought it was a decent game. You know, the second half was pretty good. First half was a bit bit, bit lackluster. But second half was great to watch. And um, well done to both sides involved. Now the Tigers, their season's over. I think if I had a one, the season was over anyway. Because I've got to play Melbourne next week. And then they play Parramatta. So... I don't think the Tigers would have won either of those games. And South Sydney played Canterbury and they play the Roosters in the last round. So South should win at least one out of two, if not two out of two. But uh, you'd think South would finish about fifth or sixth and secure a home final, which is very good for them going forward. I don't, I don't know who they'll play. It depends on other results. But I uh, thought tonight's game was very good in the second half. Probably... If I was given the game a rating out of 10, I'd give the game probably a solid 6.5 out of 10 because it was lackluster for about 30 minutes and then it became good. But um, I'm going to give the West Tigers performance here tonight a solid 5.5 out of 10. Good second half, bad first half, so it's a bit of a mixed, mixed bag for the Tigers. So I'll, I'll give them a 5.5 out of 10. And I'm going to give the Rabbitohs performance here a 6.5 out of 10. Looked great in the first half, but sort of went to sleep in the second half. But, you know, the good sides find a way to win, and they did that tonight. My um, top three on ground tonight, I'm going to go number three, Damian Cook. Number two, Campbell Graham. And number one, my man the match tonight, it's going to go to the X, fa the X Factor, Cody Walker. I thought he was outstanding tonight. I thought he had a very good game. Now, I will talk about the fight before I get out of here. Now, I thought it was stupid. So, Luke, Luke Brooks and Dan Gagai got into a tackle, and Gagai was pissed off, so he picks up the football, throws it at Brooks, and then it's on. Brooks fucking punches him right in the right in the jaw, and then as they're all fucking getting in like this, like fucking WWE, getting in a little bit of a brawl, Dan Gagai comes in and goes fucking uz, uz, a couple of uppercuts there. Um, both players got Simbin, and I think the referees ha handled it well, you know. The referees finally did something right, but i got to say, Ben Cummins tonight was a real cunt. I thought his refereeing was pretty shit, you know. There was one part there where one of the Tigers players fell into a tackle where South's, like the Tigers player, I can't remember who it was, fell into a high tackle and then stayed on the ground for about 5, 10 seconds and then Cummins calls a penalty. I'm like, you wouldn't have caught it if he had got up and played the ball, you fucking dickhead. But, you know, look, overall... Ben Cummins is still a dickhead, but well done to the Rabbitohs on getting the win, and well done to the Tigers for competing hard. Well done to every side, every t well done to everyone involved. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the first night football review. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow night for the Friday night football review. Until then, stay safe. Have a great Thursday night. Enjoy your Friday. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one.